What's up, Razmanites? Rejects and reject viewers. The Razman back up in the house for another Wednesday 5 awesome rejects video. Now, this week I'm going to try something, and hopefully, my fellow rejects and guests rejects alike, if they choose to participate, will be up for doing this over the course of the next week. If not, well, then it's my own fault because I didn't have a chance to let anybody know that I was issuing a challenge, but nobody's been online at the time that I've been online this week. We've all been incredibly busy this week, but hopefully, as I said, this is something you guys will want to do because as you'll see from the episode that I repackaged from another channel that I did to go along with this video, you'll see that it is a fun challenge to do. And the challenge is to do a mock review. To take a film that you absolutely love and rip it to shreds. See how long you can keep a straight face and just have fun with it. As you'll see in the original footage, I have a blooper reel because I was not able to keep a straight face through the entire episode at all. It took a lot of takes, but it was still a lot, a lot of fun to do. Now, keep in mind as you see this, that this was one of the first ever HD videos that I did, so it's an incredibly bad angle, but I don't think that takes away from the actual funness of the video itself. So I hope you guys enjoy my answer to this challenge, and I hope the other rejects join me in this challenge, guest rejects as well, because I think it'll be a lot of fun to do. And I'll see you guys next Wednesday. I am going to review this piece of crap known as the Dark Knight. This is the sequel to another piece of crap movie. There we go. Now you guys can see my face, I think. This is the sequel to another piece of crap film entitled Batman Begins. You know what? Guys, you don't I'm gonna put it down because you don't even need to look at this piece of crap Blu-ray while I talk about it. Uh, it's a story why I have this thing on and get into it in a minute. Alright, so first of all, what is the deal with this character of Batman? <laughs> I mean seriously. The only line in this entire crap fest of a movie that makes any sense is when Bruce Wayne trying to cover his identity as Batman says a guy who runs around town dressed like a bat clearly he has issues and that wasn't even in this movie it was actually in the last movie Batman Begins they're so easy to mix up that proves how crappy this movie is so if this movie is such crap why is it then that I own the Blu-ray, the most pristine version of a movie that you can own anywhere, of any movie. It's because it was a gift. Plain and simple, didn't ask for it, it was a gift. But everything about this movie is complete and utter, as Adam, polite mediocrity would say, bollocks. It makes absolutely no sense. I mean, Okay, let's examine this. Not only do we have a guy who runs around town dressed like a bat, but we got another guy who he's fighting, calls himself the Joker, goes around in a purple jumpsuit, and acts like a freaking drama queen. Says stuff like, You want to know how I got these scars? Well, I sound like Steve Urkel, and I got these scars because I'm a psycho freak. You know, it's just the, the most bollocks movie 
that I've ever seen. You know, I don't mind. I hope you appreciate my proper usage of a, of a British term when it comes to describing the Dark Knight. And then I found out something that really irritated me. If the movie itself wasn't irritating enough, I come to find out that this piece of crap right here that I just showed you owns the record for Blu-ray sales. It's the greatest selling Blu-ray of all time. What in the bloody hell is that? How do you justify The Dark Knight being the highest selling Blu-ray of all time? And the other thing is, the visuals on this thing are absolute crap. This is the worst looking Blu-ray transfer I've ever seen. I mean, there's no color, no vibrance, no anything to this print. So, long and short of it, if you want to see the worst movie of all time on Blu-ray, then check out The Dark Knight. Why do I own the Blu-ray edition? The most pristine I just there it goes, it drops. Proving that it's crap. And blooper blooper. And take twenty-seven. Okay. A guy goes around dressed around in a purple Na 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 and scene. Here we go again. What in the bloody hell is that? How do you justify the Dark Knight being the highest selling Blu-ray of all time? Not only does the movie not make any sense, as I've already said, but the visuals are crap. This is the worst looking movie I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <sighs>